Are you interested in Almaden Valley San Jose homes for sale? Well, stay tuned. That's what we're talking about right now. Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Vito Skarnacchio with Avitano Real Estate, and today we're talking about Almaden Valley. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning more about San Jose and real estate in general, click on the subscribe button and hit the little bell to make sure that we notify you of upcoming videos. It's one of the higher end areas around South San Jose. It has country clubs, private golf courses, fine dining, as well as some you know, casual dining as well and has some really great community events like the Almaden Wine Festival. And it's just 15 minutes away from downtown and about 15 minutes away from the airport as well. Uh, what I wish they did have was a, a, a main street, kind of like in Willow Glen, we have Lincoln Ave, and in Los Gatos, you have University and, and uh, Santa Cruz Ave. And in Morgan Hill, there's Monterey that's along Main Street where people come to congregate and go to coffee, grab a bite to eat, you know, grab some groceries, that kind of thing. What they do have though, because it's so spread out, are little corner strip malls or corner hubs of the community and they're, they're just sporadically placed. So how much does it cost to live in Elmaden Valley? Well, you can buy a fixer upper for a mere $1 million or you can have a grand mansion for 3.6. Uh, it doesn't really matter anywhere within that range we can find something within your budget and your needs for all the homes sold in the last 90 days single-family homes not condos or townhouses they're typically three and four bedroom homes around 2300 square feet over the last 90 days we've sold 48 homes for an average of 1,597,000 and it takes about 10 days to sell so things are still moving quite fast. During the summer, we see a slowdown and we see homes stay on the market a little bit longer. And right now we're seeing an average of 29 days, but that will speed back up come the fall. Now you're thinking one and a half million dollars, that's, that's a lot of money and yes it is, but it's one of the more affordable areas that's higher end in all of the Bay Area, believe it or not. You can go up to Palo Alto, Los Altos, Cupertino, Saratoga, and for the same house you're looking at two to four million dollars so Almaden Valley is a really great value when you put it all together when you talk to people from San Jose they all know Almaden Valley it's a quiet high-end area and it's easy to get to because we have two freeways that that are near it 85 and 87 and we also have one of the best backdrops that you can ask for that the hills and you know like I said in my previous videos uh, I go hiking up there once or twice a week with my dog and you just can't beat the views they're just amazing and beautiful if you're looking for challenging golf courses we have quite a few right within the valley we have Boulder Ridge as well as Almaden Country Club then we have Santa Teresa Los Lagos Cinnabar Coyote just to name a few if you like hiking or mountain biking you couldn't ask for a better park Almaden's Quicksilver Park boasts 4,163 acres. And that includes over 37 miles of hiking trails, including 30 miles of equestrian trails and 16.6 .6 miles of bike trails. All trails in the park are also open to pet owners to walk their dogs on leash. And the cool thing is that there's remnants of mining structures throughout the park. So now you know all about Almaden Valley. If you want to learn more about Elmaden Valley or other areas or neighborhoods in San Jose, click the link below or just shoot me an email at vito at ambitano.com. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Vito Scarnacchio with Abitano Real Estate. I'll see you out there. Now we laugh. I'm learning about Elmaden, San Jose. Your, your <clears throat> how much cut that part out is one of the more 